We turn to politics now and the latest on the battle for the gavel. The House of Representatives is still without a speaker tonight after a second round of votes earlier today. Hanford Representative David Valadeo tells 17 News tonight that Congressman Jim Jordan's run for the speakership is probably coming to an end. 17's Jenny Ha joining us now in studio with the latest. Jenny. Jim, one thing lawmakers on both sides of the aisle agree on is the House needs a leader to get back to work stat, yet still no speaker. No person having received a majority of the whole number of votes cast by a surname, a speaker has not been elected. Jim Jordan, nominated by a majority of Republicans, still needs that simple majority of the whole House, 217, but only got 199 votes during the second round of votes Tuesday, one fewer than the first time around. No Democrats in favor of Jordan. 22 total Republicans voting against Jordan in the second vote, five of them voting instead for Bakersfield Congressman and former Speaker of the House. House, Kevin McCarthy, who again voted for Jim Jordan. Seven GOP representatives voting for the initial Republican Speaker nominee, Steve Scalise. I mean, I went 15 rounds. He's only gone one round. If he can hold his votes and number goes up, I think he can get there. Democratic Speaker nominee Hakeem Jeffries again got 212 votes. Again, all of the Democratic votes in the House. Bipartisanship looking unlikely with Jordan as the GOP nominee. This is a serious, solemn and sober moment. After back-to-back -back unsuccessful efforts to elect a new speaker, now a push to make Speaker Pro Tem Patrick McHenry Speaker of the House until January 2024. He'd have more authority to help pass key legislation like on aid for Israel and government funding. That has support from the Central Valley's own representative, David Valadeo, who has voted for Jordan both rounds. The 22 that voted against Jordan today, I might be one of those tomorrow, for all I know, or tonight. The reality is, is Jordan doesn't have the votes now, and it's only going to get worse for him. Valadeo adding he's been frustrated with both Democrats and Republicans since the motion to vacate McCarthy was filed. Personally, I think we should go back to McCarthy. He says McCarthy had more party support when he was running for speakership than Jordan had coming out of the conference vote. Jordan telling reporters, quote, the conference is divided. We need to come together. I'm working on how to do that. There will be no more votes in the House tonight. More to come tomorrow. In studio, Jenny Ho, 17 News.